Hi guys. In the previous lesson, we have talked about how can we create the full state feedback controller. But our main problem is that the reference tracking should be satisfied by using the our FSP controller designed in for what especially for a given system dynamics model. Okay? And so in order to do that, we should create the error signal. Assume that <coughs> error signal is to what the e x ref minus x. Okay? This x refs any signal, position, velocity, pressure value, flow value, something like that. But the this x is or they should be the same units with this x ref value. Okay? And so what? <coughs> in order to design or in order to improve our full state feedback model, we should define a new state space model. <coughs> define new SS model. But don't worry because the, this new SS model is based on the what system dynamics model. Okay? And so if we define the z dot value a new times z plus b new times torque value plus e new times x ref. And so what is the a new and b new value? A new value is that the basic two terms is same with the what minus c egg i egg but we need to add a, another state variable in here like this one minus one zero and so this is totally consists of the what three times three matrices and so b new matrices is created to satisfy the following matrix equation and then zero one divided by i egg and zero okay but what is e new e new is that zero zero one hmm okay <coughs> and so what in the last term, this term equals to z3 dot and so z3 dot is equal to the what? This coming from the x ref value with the positive relation and so minus 1 times z1. And so if we are using this analogy and then we can say that the z1 can be driven to the what? x ref value this is the some tricky values or tricky operation on the matrix notation because the reference tracking can be used or can be accomplished by using this additional term on the state space new model okay because these two times two terms is always the same but if we had this term in here and so we should drive the system the stability condition and then z3 dot should be equal to the zero and as well as x ref minus z1 is equal to the zero okay and then what if the z3 goes to the zero the error signal is also goes to the zero and then if we have this kind of system this term can be considered as a disturbance value okay and so is our controller is remove this term by using this analogy this is a nice trick by using in the state space model representation okay you can accomplish the any form in the math because the linear algebra paves the way for the infinite solution values in the linear system but I can use this because it's a nice and tricky way to define the error signal with the minimization condition okay and then what is we should also 
additional k term in here k1 k2 and k3 okay the k3 minimize these errors value and then what if we have this notation and so this a new and b new should be used in the creation of the what the transfer function of the laplace domain of these things like this one okay that as i minus now a new time minus b new okay okay and so this gives us to what s over 3 plus s square times c x plus k2 divided by i x plus s times k1 divided by i x plus minus k3 divided by i x is equal to zero this is it can be calculated by using the matlab or another programming language and so don't worry about the calculation of these things uh, but in the matlab session we will describe the whole this notation in order to create a proper form of these things and so if we have the proper or candidate uh, transfer function or the characteristic equation like this one the candidate candidate ce can be written by to what a zero times s over three a one times s square a two times s and a three times s zero okay and so we should equalize the to, to zero value in order to obtain the solution of these things and then what <coughs> this a1 in the mathematical notation a0 must be equal to 1 coming from these things and so a1 is equal to the what cx plus k2 divided by i x a2 is equal to the what k1 divided by i x and so a3 is equal to the what minus k3 divided by i x and so k2 can be calculated by a1 i x minus c x k1 is equal to the a2 times i x and so k3 is equal to the minus a3 i x okay this is our the solution of to creative full state feedback controller design in our approach and so <coughs> what we have learned in this lesson we can increase the state space number with the addition factor of what error value with the definition of the what the, this e new vector times x ref and so we can build the error signal and so if we stabilize this system in the previous lesson that we done like this one and so we can drive the system to any reference point okay this is called the reference tracking full state feedback controller design in the control theory okay and so what we are have the next and so in the next lesson we will build the matlab script and as well as the matlab semantic application to obtain the time response and the comparison results related to the what the wheel model dynamics okay